Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Have another great day. In this video, I just wanted to do a like a talking head video showing you guys which coins I'm mining currently on my efficient mining rigs on essentially which GPUs I'm going to show you guys. And as well as uh, some other stuff that I want to just go through. Uh, maybe some things that uh, some people may want to know before they get into mining or something like that. A few things that I just want to get into, okay? So before we do that, this video is sponsored by NerdGears.com. They actually have a few GPUs here in stock and it looks like the pricing for a lot of their GPUs have been coming down from what I've been seeing. So if you guys are interested, they accept crypto and credit card as payment, all right? And they also have other crypto mining hardware in stock right now, such as their 30 amp, 240 volt metered PDUs as well. Hey guys, go check it out. Link down below to nerdgears.com. Okay, so let's go through my Hive OS here. As all of you know, I'm, yeah, I haven't done Windows mining for, I would say, a couple of years now. And uh, I used to have maybe 10 rigs on Windows, and then I transitioned to Hive OS. And I've essentially never looked back because <laughs> it's, yeah, going to Hive OS has definitely helped with my time and just managing my rigs. You know very easily and changing the like you know flight sheets and wallets and stuff on the fly right in one web page like the web GUI here for Hive OS is super nice super handy but I'm not trying to promote them here but yeah I'm just saying that I've been using Hive OS for the past two three years now you can let this here just to show you guys that I have let's see one two three four five about ten mining rigs on right now and just to explain uh, before I talk about which coins I'm mining I am capable of paying for my electrical bill out of my pocket right now for these 10 mining rigs. And that is because I am believing in these coins and also supporting these coins in hopes that in the future that the price appreciation of these coins will, will benefit whatever how much I'm yielding now and be worth obviously a lot more than what I am mining now, right? The yield, it seems to be, I guess, leveled off, I would say, since after the merge now. And so after the Ethereum merge, so I think it's been almost a month now. And yeah, I guess things have kind of, you know, a lot of people have turned off their mining rigs and now things are kind of like in a in equilibrium in a, in a sense. But I, I'm going to show what to mine in a sec. But you guys can probably tell which coins I'm mining. Ergo, Flux, I got Meow Coin. All right, these are three coins that I'm currently mining right now. And this is obviously not financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to go mine this coin because if you did, obviously it would get a lot more difficult. Network hash rate rises and uh, profitability dependent on your electrical cost would start going down. But Ergo, okay, I've made many videos talking about mining Ergo and a lot of rigs for the past couple of years. Flux as well, uh, which used to be called Zell. All right, I have I think I, I started mining Zell on my 1063 gigabyte cards. It was like maybe a couple of years ago. Yeah, and Meow Coin, obviously it's a new coin, only about a month old or more uh, as of recently. And uh, a lot of people really mocked me regarding Meowcoin. I understand that maybe some people think it's like a meme coin or something like that. But honestly, if you go, you know, check out their socials, Discord, their donations that they have done, I think what they're trying to do over there is pretty awesome. But uh, a lot of people have their own opinions and that's fine. I've been mining Meowcoin on 24 6600 XTs. All right. Awesome GPUs, really efficient for the Kapow algorithm. Okay, that's what Meowcoin is. I forgot which uh, I forgot to tell you guys which GPUs the Flux rigs are, are using right now. I have four RTX 3070 rigs on Flux. And you guys probably heard of the recent LOL miner optimization to significantly improve the performance of the uh, Ampere GPUs, especially from what I've tried on my 3070s. I gained about 10 more souls on each on each 3070 at about 135 137 watts and i'm able to give out 70 souls 70 to 74 souls on each of my 1070s so that's pretty awesome and then on ergo are all of my a2000 gpus okay so yeah that's it that's that's basically what i'm mining that's that's the end of the video but no so let me know down below if i'm sure there's a lot of you that are mining flux or ergo or maybe meow coin because meow coin is also on what to mine now uh, a couple of times i've actually seen meow coin at the top of the uh, profitability charts uh, but now it's obviously down because obviously more people move to it then the profitability is going to change but that's another thing that i've been noticing just real quick is that you know profitability on what to mine changes all the time because people keep chasing the top coin and then when people do that the hash rate goes higher on those coins 
difficulty that's the difficulty goes higher and then that's the profitability starts going down right and then another coin is going to take over the top of the charts and then it's just going to be this vicious cycle of people just I, you know I've, I've explained before like i don't play that game of switching coins all the time because it just it just doesn't make sense it really just doesn't make sense and i know a lot of people say why don't you just mine the profitable coin but to be honest my time is worth more than anything i i'm not gonna you know waste my day looking at what to mine every day change my wigs and hive os even though it takes like less than a minute but you, you guys know what i mean you guys know what i mean i i don't want to i don't want to play that game but anyways i did i did want to show you guys the 3070s okay so for my 3070s that are mining on flux right now i can get about 70 souls 137 watts right if i hit calculate at 10 10, 10 cent kilowatt hour then we can see here that i am in now the negative 0.4 cents uh, 0.04 cents on mining flux right and you know i i truly believe that flux will eventually go back to its all-time high obviously not financial advice but another thing is that there are the you know other parallel assets that will eventually come about so i think that you know as we are mining flux right now yielding flux and as you are holding it then you're going to be getting uh the other parallel assets in the future which i think is pretty awesome and that's that's going to increase your value on whatever your whole portfolio essentially not financial advice you guys can do whatever you want i'm just telling you what my my long-term plan goal is okay uh whether or not you believe that is the right way or not then uh yeah so be it but let me know down below okay so that's yeah uh that's basically it for the rigs here okay so now the next thing i want to explain all right is a couple of things people wanted me to talk about the bitmain uh, kda uh, ka3 and um i've been talking to crypto miner bros uh, to see if i can get one of these but apparently these have been pretty hard to get and uh i know that bitmain had like a like a sale of these but i think minimum order was like a hundred or something at fifty three hundred dollars which is quite insane because i think the uh, the profitability for the ka3 at this moment is 65 dollars imagine i would say in the next as these things start shipping out in the next couple months i think in the next uh november beginning of december or something is that the profitability dependent if the price of kda doesn't go up and if the hash rate starts going up obviously due to all these ka3s being shipped out it the profitability is probably going to go down so take this information you see here on what to mine or anyone that makes videos about the ka3 is that it's 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 probably going to go down right as more of these come online which the ka3 is the most efficient cadena asic miner out on the market right now by a long shot beats out all the all the gold shells i believe yeah that's one thing to just be wary of all right just make sure you do your own research when it comes to maybe want to, wanting to buy one of these uh, ka3s but uh, if you believe in the long-term potential of of cadena then uh, you know yeah yielding more of the coin now versus uh the long term right waiting up until the long term if you huddle all that cadena uh, you, you could make a lot if the price appreciated quite a bit but anyways that's the bitmain ka3 little update there okay now next one is the bitcoin having all right bitcoin having uh this might be on some people's radars for those that are bitcoin asic miners such as myself and i just uh you know i kind of forgot about this but you know, the Bitcoin halving is is going to happen in about 502 days as of recording. It is October 10th of 2022. So another, I think, two years. Yeah, less than two years it's going to happen. And so that will decrease the block reward from 6.25 Bitcoin to 3.125. If any, if this ever correlates to obviously price appreciation of Bitcoin in, in some form or fashion, right? Bitcoin, obviously, when it goes up, it brings, I would say, the rest of the market. Right, a lot of the other proof of work coins uh, financial advice of course so that's one thing uh, to consider for anyone that's like asic mining just understand what's happening in the next 500 days i mean this really key this really is like a a macro event basically understanding as a whole like what what you could be doing now getting ready prepping for the next bitcoin cycle perhaps all that kind of stuff right okay next update here is the ethereum classic now i know a lot of people have been looking at like getting the all these new x4 Qs or you know all these Ipolo miners or whatever, all these all these types of little Ethereum Classic miners. One thing to consider is the Ethereum Classic fifthening, which happened back in April of this year, and the, it dropped the block reward from 3.2 to 2.56, right? So obviously what that means is when the block reward goes down to 2.56 or lower, um, that's being distributed amongst all the miners, all the pools, right? And so uh you're you're getting less and less every i believe it's uh every two years and ethereum classic calls them eras okay 
error one, they had error one, error two, error three, error four, error five, and I think it keeps going, so on and so forth, um, every every two years, I believe. So yeah, looks like Ethereum Classic in the next two years will have another fifth inning, or actually another year and a bit. So that is gonna drop the uh, your 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 estimated uh, earnings, <laughs> dependent on the hash rate difficulty of Ethereum Classic. So that's one thing to consider if you're deciding to buy. Uh, those types of things okay guys and then now i just want to uh talk about flux okay flux is obviously a coin that i'm i'm mining on my 3070s i just explained that earlier but with flux now okay i for some reason i thought since the lol miner update came out okay that you know people were getting more hash rate with the same power consumption on their on their ampere or even navi gpus they said i haven't tried the 5000 series i would love to try my 5700s oh if the 5700s are good if they get 15 to 20 cent percent more hmm i'm gonna have to try that on my 5700s because i know that nerd gears has the 5700 xt pulses for 185 wait i shouldn't talk about that i'm not going to talk about that let me test it first and see how the 5700s do on flux and if it's efficient or not all right that that'll be that'll be something stay tuned for that video maybe i'll just do that tomorrow in the next couple days here um so the flux hash rate so when lol miner came out like five days ago i thought that the network hash rate for flux would start going up so uh but looking at here it looks like the network hash rate for flux really hasn't yeah maybe it jumped up here in the next couple days all right 9.42 mega souls but now it's kind of going back down i think uh, maybe some mining farms are not able to keep up or something so they got to turn off you know, that type of thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, I thought that the network hash rate would go much more as people are using the same power consumption, uh, but are now uh, adding more hash rate <laughs> to the network. Uh, but it really hasn't gone up. I mean, not that much. I mean, that makes sense. I guess another 10%. So yeah, from like eight to like nine, 9.13 megas megasols. Yeah, I guess that's okay. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Maybe you guys have noticed the hash rate go up on your uh, AMD cards or uh, NVIDIA cards as well for the LOL Miner 1.6 for Flux, which is just pretty nice. Okay, guys, that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know what coins you guys are mining and why. Okay, give me some reasons. I just wanted to ask one question, actually. Uh, what, like, what type of videos do you guys want to see now? Like, I've just been making a whole slew of different stuff, and uh, uh, I just want to know down below uh, what you guys would like to see more of and I will try to make more videos of that uh, type of thing I think I had a comment recently someone wanted me to do like fun like custom mining rig builds and stuff and I, I truly I truly do miss that that's gonna come up really soon though when I move to my new place okay my new house uh, crypto mining location all right my friends I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out